So after playing arms race for some time now, I've got it down to a T and the best way to earn those new legendaries. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So in this video my beautiful people, I'm going to guide you in which in my opinion is the best way to play arms race to earn and farm those legendaries. So with Arms Race being a new mode not many people have jumped into and explored and experienced properly yet, I thought I'd bring you this quick guide you can easily follow to make the most out of earning that new loot. So upon landing with an Arms Race, it's super important to quickly find a decent weapon and shield. So take a few seconds to loot those gear chests. Nothing major is needed right away though, I will state. So once you're done here, bring up your menu. And what you want to do is seek out the furthest away loot cache on your map, which is still within that safe area. And then you just want to head over to it. If there are two on the very border of the map, head to the one in which on your way back to the boss, you will run by another loot cache. So head out to that furthest away loot cache and do what you have to do. Sometimes you will have to clear out a few enemies to progress forward to said loot caches. And once you get to said loot caches, again you will have to take out a few waves of enemies or sometimes you actually have to initiate the fight by pressing something or activating something. Either way, enemies will spawn in which you need to clear out right, for those green laser doors to vanish. Once they do, there should be two red chests within there for you to get a good chance of earning those new legendaries. But don't forget check all loot as it might be better than what you have on at this point, which will help you obviously progress with this mode. Once obtained though, pull back up your map and see if any extraction points or supply drops are nearby. If they are, head to them. But don't steer too far away from that next loot cache. Unless it's an extraction point you are heading to, as you've been rewarded a must keep legendary. Also remember extraction points are limited in how many times you can extract at once. So keep that in mind. Now the supply drops are normally accompanied by some decent leveled enemies in which they themselves can drop legendaries too. So once you've taken these out and that supply drop has been looted, again pull up your map and see what's nearby. Also keeping an eye out on that time and murder cane. If there's another loot cache you think you can get to which is nearby, do what you gotta do. What I'd always do is though extract any legendaries you have and want to keep before heading into that boss fight. This is really important. So if you do get to another cache and have have time, loot it to get any new legendaries and there's an extraction point nearby, make sure you extract those legendaries. Don't forget extraction points also are normally occupied by enemies too in which you will have to take out before using the extraction point because if you're playing solo and you go into the extraction point machine, the game doesn't pause, unlike if you go into your inventory. So once you're done here, it's to that boss fight. Now once you are in the boss fight, it's important to know that the murder cane or storm can't affect you while you are in here. Besides sometimes giving you a weird effect which I had a few times but couldn't figure out what it was doing. It could have been slowing down health regen but I wasn't certain on that. But yeah the boss fight can get a little overwhelming but I doubt you will struggle here. As long as you have a shock weapon to remove the initial shield and a corrosive weapon for the armor you'll be absolutely fine. But here to be honest I had no problems with non elemental weapons either. But yeah play smart and it's quite easy and while well, hopefully once you take out this boss your reward is some decent Decent loot. Then go ahead and extract it. This extraction machine here you can extract 5 so it should be good. And yeah well people that's how I've been playing arms race and it's definitely the most efficient way in earning those legendaries. Once you jump in, loot a few chests, get those weapons, get that shield, pull up your map, seek out the furthest away loot cache which is safe inside that circle area but obviously think about the route because if on your way back there is another loot cache that's probably the best way to go and don't forget supply drops randomly drop in also so that's pretty cool too. So seek out the furthest away loot cache, on your way back to the bus which is where this will end, loot what you can. Don't forget extracting those important legendaries on your way. So yeah guys it's pretty simple to be honest but that's what I've been doing and I hope it helps for you and on that note we have come to the end of the video if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more BR3 be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video or upload can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one